Konnichiwa. I'm Major General J.B. Vowell, Commanding General of United States Army Japan. And I'm Command Sergeant Major Jerry Dodson. Congratulations on your assignment to Japan. We are certain you will find it both personally and professionally rewarding. We'd also like to give you the latest information on procedures for your travel, arrival, and processing, and some of the best facilities the Army has to offer in the Pacific. It's important to understand that when you arrive to Japan, you will join a professional and dedicated group of soldiers, civilians, and host nation employees that help shape the strategic environment, which is critical to maintaining freedom and prosperity in Japan and the entire Indo-Pacific region. You are arriving to serve in the most consequential theater at the most consequential time, and we look forward to integrating you quickly into the team. Our mission in U.S. Army Japan centers on assuring our partners and allies in the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force and in deterring potential adversaries in the region. We do this by focusing on five lines of effort, including posture, readiness, people, partnerships, and our operations and exercises. Every soldier, civilian, and family member is key as we work with our Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force counterparts to increase lethality and interoperability. We work as a partner in U.S. Forces Japan and contribute significantly during crisis, contingency, and conflict situations. Only U.S. Army Japan can do this at scale. Japan is a great place to live and work. While our ability to support missions is important, you will also find that the quality of life and experiences in Japan are unique and rewarding. The rest of the video will now walk you through what you can expect as you arrive to Japan and in process and become a member of the team. One, One team, team, Ichijan. Ichijan. Hello, I'm Colonel Christopher Tomlinson, Commander of United States Army Garrison, Japan. And I'm Garrison Command Sergeant Major Justin Turner. Thank you to our United States Army Japan leadership team for opening up this video and highlighting the importance of the mission and priorities here. There's a lot you need to know as you begin your permanent change of station move here, whether on a company or with your family. The goal of this video is to provide you with the information needed to answer your questions and help make your move here as easy as possible. We want your tour in Japan to be professionally fulfilling and we hope you get the chance to experience the rich culture, customs, and traditions of this wonderful country. Please take a look as we explain some of the key things you'll need to know before and after you arrive. Thank you and welcome to Japan. Set, Set the, the standard, standard Ichidan. Ichidan. The first stop in Japan for incoming personnel, both military and civilian, will likely be the Narita International Airport via a commercial flight or Yokota Air Base via a military charter flight. Pets may be brought to Japan, but there are local Japanese laws and quarantine regulations that must be followed. Please refer to the United States Department of Agricultural website for the most up-to-date information on requirements for pet entry into Japan. There are also restrictions on the number, size, and types of pets. Your sponsor should be able to help connect you with housing and veterinary services to answer your questions. Shipment of pets must be at the owner's expense. It is extremely important to start the process at least 180 days prior to your arrival to Japan to ensure required documentation and vaccinations are in order. Some requirements for importing pets to Japan are a microchip and two rabies vaccinations, a rabies antibody level screening test 180 days prior to travel, email notification of intent to import a pet to Japan Animal Quarantine Services 40 days prior to travel, a veterinary health certificate issued by a USDA accredited veterinarian within 10 days of travel, pets not meeting the necessary requirements will be subject to 180 day quarantine. Please refer to the USDA's Animal and Plant Health Inspection Service website at www.aphis.usda.gov backslash APHIS backslash pet dash travel for the most up-to-date entry requirements. Narita International Airport is located about 40 miles east of Tokyo and 75 miles from Camp Zama. It is one of the busiest passenger airports in Japan. 
New arrivals to Japan have instant access to a variety of airport shops, eateries, and information outlets. Once you arrive at Narita, travelers must clear Japanese quarantine and immigration before claiming luggage at the designated baggage carousel. After acquiring luggage, travelers must exit the baggage area through customs. The DoD liaison counter can be found in the north wing lobby at the far left of the Terminal 1 after leaving customs. The DoD liaison counter assists DoD personnel and their dependents who are transiting through Narita International Airport and are open from noon to 8 p.m. daily including Japanese and U.S. holidays. They will assist travelers with onward military buses, commercial trains, buses, and air arrangements within Japan or other Pacific and worldwide locations. If traveling to Camp Zama by military shuttle bus, soldiers should have their sponsor reserve a seat in advance by calling Outdoor Recreation at 011-8146-407-4000 4671 when calling from the U.S. If you'd rather travel to Camp Zama by other means, there are also commercial buses and trains to help you get there. The Keisei bus travels from Narita Airport to Sagami Ono train station for a fee. Once at Sagami Ono, travelers to Camp Zama can take the local Odokyu Adawara line train to Sobodai Mai station. There are also several railway options to get from Narita Airport to Camp Zama. The Skyliner and Narita Express are available options. Japanese public transportation is very efficient and clean. Sobodai Mai Station on the Adoku Adwara line is accessible with just a few transfers. Once at Sobodai Mai Station, travelers can get a taxi to nearby Camp Zama. If you're arriving at Yokota Air Base, you will be greeted by an Air Mobility Command representative who will escort all passengers to the Yokota Passenger Terminal. Passengers with a final destination of Yokota, Yokosuka, Atsugi, or Camp Zama will enter the inbound customs and immigration area to pick up their bags and go through the inspection area for immigration formalities. After you leave the customs inspection area, you should check with the Air Army Traffic Coordinating Office for transportation to Camp Zama. The AATCO will either have transportation waiting or will arrange it for you. Your sponsor may meet you either at Yokota Air Base Terminal or upon your arrival at Camp Zama. It's about a 90 minute drive from Yokota to Camp Zama. Well, the big thing to remember that uh, usually as an active duty military personnel, as, the, as a U.S. soldier PCSing to Japan, uh, you are allowed to uh, arrive with as long as you have your military ID card and your PCS orders, and that's enough to uh, allow you entry into Japan. However, your dependents uh, must have uh, passports, valid passports. The key to efficient and relatively stress-free travel is working closely with your sponsor. Soldiers should establish contact with the sponsor early and maintain contact often. Sponsors should help with local travel arrangements. As you begin in processing at your new duty station, there are several benefits, allowances, and services that you need to keep in mind. Upon arrival, personnel new to Japan will attend a newcomer's orientation to learn about all of the services and facilities the installation has to offer. New personnel also attend a Japanese Head Start course that introduces newcomers to Japanese customs and culture. Most newly arriving personnel traveling on official orders are temporarily housed at the Camp Zama Lodge at the government's expense. You'll have ample time to find a permanent home to meet your needs. There are significant weight restrictions for shipping household goods to Japan. Service members should be sure to check with the transportation office before packing out to determine their authorized weight. Take comfort in knowing that all household goods will be professionally packed and shipped to Japan or put in storage for you at the government's expense. You probably won't be able to bring everything to Japan, but don't worry. Loaner furniture such as tables, chairs, sofas, rugs, lamps, and bedroom sets are all available. All the household goods you need will be provided from the housing office until your household shipment arrives. It is highly recommended not to bring king-size beds or bulky or oversized furniture as both government and off-base housing are considerably smaller than in the U.S. Because Japan is a weight-restricted area, full tour furniture support can be provided for furniture items you elect not to ship. Your sponsor should be working with the housing office to answer any questions you have. There are two types of housings available here on Camp Zama. 
We have the Army Family Housing and the Unaccompanied Personnel Housing, located on Camp Zama and Sagamihara Family Housing area. Our family housing consists of townhomes and high-rise towers, uh, which are located on Camp Zama and Sagamihara Family Housing. Our townhomes are located on both locations, while our high-rise towers are only located on Camp Zama. As for our unaccompanied personnel housing, it is only located on Camp Zama. Our townhomes consist of 45 units per building and our high-rise towers have eight units with a single floor concept. Both our townhomes and high-rise towers consist of three or four bedrooms and size range from 1,200 to 2,400 square feet. We have approximately 390 plus townhomes and two towers with 68 units each. Uh, our unaccompanied personnel housing consists of 14 barracks buildings with approximately 483 rooms total. Our room size ranges from 180 to 400 square feet. To process to our housing office, uh, there are required documents. Uh, one is your PCS orders, which is your DA Form 31, and also a DA Form 137-2, which is your installation clearance form. Uh, there are other documents needed, but it's a case-by-case -case basis. Please contact our housing office for more information at 263-3527. Ample housing is available whether on or off base. Active duty soldiers have priority for on-post housing. If government housing is not available, the housing office can help you find a suitable place to live within the local Japanese community. Civilian employees with families are allowed to live in on-base housing if available. Civilian employees who are unaccompanied must live off base. Soldiers authorized to reside in off-post housing will receive an overseas housing allowance and civilians receive a living quarters allowance. The allowances are used to compensate members for the majority of housing expenses incurred while living off-base overseas. Allowance rates are periodically updated based on new cost data and review of currency fluctuations. Cost of living allowance is also available for military and post allowance is available for civilians. COLA is a non-taxable allowance designed to help those stationed overseas maintain the same purchasing power they would have in the States. It helps to offset the higher costs of food, transportation, clothing, and other costs associated with living in Japan, along with any fluctuations in the exchange rate. Post allowance is also non-taxable and is granted to civilian employees stationed at a post or foreign area where the cost of living, excluding quarters costs, is substantially higher than in Washington, D.C. Post allowance is not based on a percentage of your salary, but is a cost index percentage between the Washington, D.C. area and the assigned post, and is based upon the number of family members residing at the post and the base salary. Unaccompanied soldiers are also authorized basic allowance for housing for their family back home. First of all, when all personnel arriving to Camp Zama, either enlisted or officer or civilians, they need to be in touch with their sponsor. They need to send the sponsor a copy of the PCS orders, bring them to Japan. The sponsor will then come to the MPD and set up an in-process appointment for them. Upon arrival, they'll come to the MPD for their in-process appointment with a copy of their PCS orders and their leave forms. For civilians, you won't have a leave form, you'll just have your PCS order. You'll then go through the in-processing checklist with the clerk at the in-processing center. We'll schedule you for all your appointments for Head Start program, and the newcomer's orientation. You'll also get a chance to go to the driver's training that's conducted every Tuesday. In processing takes five days to in process Camp Zama. Before you arrive, please make sure you send a copy of your orders to your sponsor so your sponsor can go to the mail room and set up your mailbox for you. Boss which stands for Better Opportunities for Single Soldiers, has been expanded in Japan to include better opportunities for both single and unaccompanied soldiers. This robust program offers excursions and planned activities throughout the year. Our boss programs provide a wide range of activities to set up, from setting up trips to scuba diving, snowboarding, cooking class, and airsoft event at no cost to the single soldiers and geo batch. Our main goal is to focus on the four pillar boss, which is quiet life, recreational leisure, community service, and life skills. Boss programs are intended for single soldiers and geo bachelors. However, if married couples decide to volunteer, 
it can get their volunteer hours, which in turn helps the single soldiers and the geo bachelors. In U.S. Army Japan, there's really no registration process because they are applied to all single soldiers and geo bachelors. If you would like to attend boss events, please contact your unit boss reps or myself, the boss president. If you have school-aged children, you can enroll them in the Department of Defense Dependent School System, known as DODS. These schools offer all the same educational opportunities found in stateside schools, as well as after-school activities, field trips, and excursions to museums and off-post cultural sites. We offer two schools for your child's education. We have Arn Elementary School, which provides services from age three through sixth grade, and we have Zama Middle High School, which provides services grades seven through 12. We offer a full array of academic programs for your students in each content area. We offer AP services, honor services, and special education services. We also offer an array of electives for your child to meet their interests and their needs. Our mission is to provide the best education every day for every student. Prior to your arrival at Camp Zama, you can gather more information about our schools by going to dodea.edu website or to each school website, or an elementary website, or Zama Middle High School website. When you arrive at the site, please go to the right-hand side where you'll see a series of links. Go to the link that says PCS or PCSing. Click on that link. Next, you'll see a link that says Registration, where you'll find information about our registrar. You'll also find information about our new online registration system called DOORS, Dodea Online Registration for Students. You can use this link to register your child prior to arriving at Camp Zama. If you must register your child on site, please bring the following information with you. Your orders, child shop record, their valid ID, and their passport. These are a few items that you'll need to register your child on site. Of course, there's no need to worry if your children are not old enough for school. Younger children have access to a number of child development centers offering both hourly and daily care. These award-winning centers cater to the needs of the smallest members of our community. They have friendly, dedicated staff and flexible hours to meet your needs. CYS offers a wide range of services uh, to the community at Camp Zama Japan for children and family, children aged six weeks all the way to 18 years of age. We have child development center programs for the younger children, school age center program for our children who are in elementary school, as well as the teen center program, which you see is kind of right behind me right here for our high school students. And we have a ton of other opportunities such as sports and fitness programs and instructional programs to include things like um, karate, ballet, musical instruction. So just a wide range of services that we have here for all families and children for CYS Japan. Um, yeah, the best thing I can tell somebody who's newly assigned to Cam Zama is to check out militarychildcare.com. That is our new uh, registration website that we can track soldiers and their families before they arrive here so we can get them in their proper um, spaces in our child development center or the school age center. So any soldiers or civilians who are on their way to Camp Zama, I encourage you strongly to register with militarychildcare.com and it'll put you right on the waiting list so we can get you into care right before you land, right before you come to Japan. For those children interested in a challenge, our installation offers youth sports, indoor and outdoor swimming pools, scouting for both boys and girls, and many other recreation programs. Throughout the year, you'll also find numerous festivals, sports tournaments, and recreational activities for both the young and young at heart. Our installation features the latest in athletic facilities, as well as robust year-round fitness programs for all age groups. If you want to get in shape, this is the place to do it. For those who like to golf, Camp Zama is home to an outstanding golf course. Because golf can be played year-round here, the Camp Zama Golf Course has a very active tournament program. The golf club features an 18-hole, par 72 course. It is considered by most golfers to be extremely challenging. A driving range is available about one mile from the golf course. The golf course has a clubhouse with a pro shop, full-service restaurant, bar, locker rooms, showers, rental clubs, professional golf instruction, and electric golf car rentals with GPS. In addition to the commissary and exchange, you and your family will have access to on-post services, including the U.S. Post Office, at the same price you're accustomed to back in the States. You also can shop at all the Army, Air Force, and Navy exchange services at nearby military facilities. We are what we call a small store category. So 
when we talk about small store, even if you, you go to other stores and you see bigger assortments, we still have mainly the top 10 that's selling. There's no difference from us to the United States. We sell the same products worldwide. The only thing that would be different is like we're in Japan, so we sell Japanese exclusive products. We try to sell the local products and in other locations would be the same thing. We do also have a shuttle program and we also have customer service that if there's things that you want and you need and you've seen it somewhere else, we can get it for you and we'll have a transfer from another store. Our sister store right next door to us is Yokota, which is only an hour away. So we can get you anything you need, it's just an hour away. And of course, you and your family can take full advantage of the Army's on-post food, beverage, sports tournament, and entertainment offered by FMWR services and facilities.